welcome to episode 12 of my weekly roundup series. So it actually feels like ages since I have actually done a video or been on talking days. I think because I did so many last week, this week feels like I've been a bit quieter and I've definitely been a wee bit quieter over on Instagram too. It's just, I think the weather is just honestly getting us down. It's just awful at the minute. So um, yeah, my plans this week didn't really happen. I the first thing that I had to get done was get my suit finished, my linen suit, which I have done now. It is the buttons arrived yesterday and they're on and I ended up tweaking the length of the shorts wee bit. I wasn't hundred percent happy with them after taking photos so I've done that now so I just need to get loads of photos taken, try on loads of different outfits and yeah I will be able to reveal all that very soon hopefully. So then the other things, where is, here we go. So the other things I had planned this week was I wanted to cut another pair of my Dawn jeans out, which I did. Um, I'm just gonna check what all I did have planned. Uh, my Winslow shorts and my other floral shorts there. I was gonna do the Petra shorts. I think I've changed my mind now about what shorts I'm gonna do with the floral. So then the other thing I wanted to do was work on my shorts in this fabric here, the linen viscose from Sister Mantaka. Um, pardon me, I think I had wanted to do the Petra shorts, but I think now I might do a different short. I have a couple other options, but I think a slimmer, tailored, more tailored version will be better. Yes? Um, After I finish this. Okay. Okay. Um, so yeah, I didn't obviously get around to even cutting these out. I, um, I'm not, the weather's been miserable anyway, so it's, I haven't been wearing shorts. But yeah, I'm, I'm still not 100% sure now what pattern I'm going to use. I still think it will be bottoms, I think, but we'll just see. And then the other thing I wanted to do was my square neck top, this and the rose tencel um, jersey. Didn't get it done because on Thursday, I think it was, or Wednesday evening, I took a mad notion that I wanted to make my jeans and nothing, like literally nothing, it was on Wednesday, nothing's gonna stop me. So Wednesday, I cut out my second pair of Dawn jeans and then Thursday, I got all my machines set up. I got, I had my um, top stitch thread and needle in this machine because uh, it's heavier and it is, it's a pretty strong machine. So I knew it'd be better for that thread. I have my other machine set up, just normal thread. I have my overlocker set up, I had the iron it, everything ready to go. And yeah, I just got stuck into my jeans. No, sorry, it was Wednesday that I started them because I remember finishing off the top stitching just before the sewing bee started. So yeah, between, I think it took me about three days to get everything finished. I didn't even think I was gonna get them finished this week because I thought I'd lost my jeans buttons, but then I found them. And I didn't actually, you can maybe see me pick. I only had three jeans buttons, I broke one. Um, so I've just used them for the outside and then just use normal buttons on the inside of the fly because nobody's gonna see them anyway, really, unless I show them. Um, so yeah, I, I had so much fun making these. I really, really enjoyed it. I didn't think I was gonna enjoy it as much. Uh, I don't know why I had been putting it off for so long. The fit is perfect, I'll stand up. So yeah, there's a wee bit of like a gaping at the back here. I think it's because I've sized up where my waist is smaller, especially around my back there, it would come in, you know, quite a lot. So I probably should have graded down a wee bit at the centre back seam. But apart from that, I am really happy with these. So I ended up adding the wee rivets to them. I find them too and I thought, well, I might as well use them. And yeah, I'm just, everything about them turned out so well. The top stitching, the fit, just everything. I'm so happy I made the 12 first in the twill the canvas and um, they're like 
can lace with a coloured canvas. I still haven't actually worn those because they're too tight. I should probably try them on again though now because they might be a wee bit better. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy I did them first before I started on these because I think it really did help me get the fit perfect. The only thing I would change next time is take it in a wee bit at that back seam. But apart from that, like I'm not, I'm not overly worried. Usually my t-shirts would be covering it anyway. So yeah, I am so happy with these. Like just so happy. So I have this pair. And then this is the denim from Sister Mataka that I got last year. And then this is the bleach denim from, I've got purple buttons here. It's the bleach denim from Oso Shop. So they're both the exact same. Um, the only thing I haven't done with these is t any top stitch on the back. I think I might actually do a bit of hand embroidery. Just using the same thread, the same top stitch and thread. I don't know if I should be doing that, but I think I might just do a few wee bits of hand embroidery on the back. Because I just... I just couldn't think of what to do. <laughs> I had no idea. It's really hard picking it's something. I thought about maybe doing like my initials or different things and everything I drew out, I just wasn't happy with. So yeah, I just left it, but I'm probably gonna do a few wee bits of like hand embroidery on the back there. But obviously I don't need to do that right now. I can sit and do that some other time. But yeah, um, so happy with these. Just, I just love them both so much. And yeah, they're gonna go with so much in my wardrobe. They, they're just, oh, they're perfect. Mommy, I am. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm needed to help build some Lego. So yeah, that is what I got done this week. I think I made another version of the Helen's Closets new pattern that I was on the Q18 for. Um, I can't remember if I'd made that last week or not. That could have been like a, a, a make just on a whim too. So obviously sometimes I stick to my list and then other obviously if I don't want to make what's on my list, obviously throughout the course of the week things can change and I can change my mind about what I want to do. And yeah, I just decided this week that I was going to do something different. <laughs> um, someone had said to me that they wanted to see my spreadsheet, so I'll put a wee picture up of it. Um, and maybe do maybe more in depth on how I, like a video on a blog on more in depth on how I plan and different things like that. Um, but yeah, pop we picture up so you can get a wee glimpse of the my spreadsheet that has all my fabrics and what my plans are and what's been finished and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, um, I'll pop that in so you can see it. But yeah, so this week. No plans, we're done. Well, finished my suit. I obviously got my John jeans cut, but I also got them sewn up and then I didn't really do anything else on my list, which is okay. I'm honestly thrilled that these jeans are made and that they fit. And yeah, really happy about that. So then this week, the sewing bee, it was the semi-final. Um, oh, it was just... I'm, I'm so happy Matt stayed in, but I'm also devastated that Liz went. I really, really liked her too. I thought her her um, made to measure dress was fantastic. I definitely think she did the best job out of everyone. I don't know. I, I don't think I'd really... I think it was probably a tough call for them. I don't think she should have went, but there you go. And then the... What were the other two challenges? Um... I can't remember. No. Oh, Claire's um upcycling challenge was incredible. It it was in very Alexander McQueen and I did really enjoy that. I thought she did great, so yeah, I think it probably did deserve Garment of the Week. I think it was a close call between hers and Liz made the measure dress, so that's maybe why I think she should have went. I thought they were quite close, but should just call it anyway. I'm so excited for the final. I can't wait to see what they have planned for the contestants. And um, sorry, Max is at my feet again here. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm really, really excited for the final of that. And that's really it for this week. Like the weather is just it's just been miserable. So I haven't been able to do anything or get out or yeah, it's just I just I want some summer back. Just some sun, even just the rain to stay away right now, I'd be happy enough with because we're having to go out every day and dry off the trampoline and stuff, even so the kids can go out and play. And it's just, yeah, it'd be nice to see just some dry weather for a while. Not even summer, just dry weather would do me 
so we could get out for a few walks and stuff to get out of the house because it has been, yeah, we're starting to get to us all. Are you done? I'm nearly done, yes. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm going to round it up here. I am obviously needed to help build, uh, what are we building, Charlie? A uh, police station. We're building a Lego police station. So I will, I hope you've all had a nice week and I will catch up with you all soon. Bye.